Mike DeWine visited the Lubrizol Corporation in Wycliffe today. It's one of the many Ohio companies that will work with the Intel plant when it comes to Central Ohio. Our Mark Namick was there and tells us about the partnership between the two companies that's already been forged. Looking down on the tank and looking at the liquid, and uh, it's uh, it's quite it's quite ex quite exciting. An international company based here with more than 8,000 employees worldwide, Lubrizol makes chemicals and lubricants. It's been working with Intel for a couple of years on a way to reduce heat generated by computer servers, now cooled mostly by fans and water. Lubrizol's solution, run the computer servers in a special liquid that absorbs heat and eliminates the need for other cooling systems. Where the server, the motherboard, and the silicon are all immersed in a dielectric fluid Company executives said their products will be used by Intel at the new plant, DeWine boasting of the plant's reach. Proximity to the Intel site uh, clearly doesn't matter. Here we are in Lake County, 150 miles or so from Licking County, uh, and we're seeing the effect here. Intel is getting an unprecedented $2 billion in public money to build a plant here. The governor, who is running for re-election, is standing by the decision and talking up the benefits. I truly believe that this is uh, Ohio's time in history. We're seeing people come off the West Coast, the East Coast, companies. Uh, there's no better place to live than Ohio, no better place to start a business, no better place to grow a business. The new Intel plan is expected to be done in Columbus in 2025 and employ 3,000 employees, but generate thousands of jobs with suppliers like here in Lubrizol which said today they're going to make that special fluid nearby at their Painesville plant. Laura? All right, good news for us here in Northeast Ohio. Mark Namick is live for us tonight. Mark, thanks.